Hey, my name is Clara and today I'm going to try to recreate this $1,300 anthropology side table for less than $100. If you wanna see what I did, how I did it, and whether or not I was successful in the end, just keep watching. This video is a collaboration with 24 other furniture artists and YouTubers. Check down below in the description. I'll put a playlist of everyone's videos. This flip started with me looking on Anthropology's furniture section and finding a really cute credenza or sideboard that I would definitely not be willing to pay $1,300 for. I really liked the color of this. I liked the gold accents with the legs and with the circles on the side. And I thought that I should try and give this a try and do a dupe of this piece. I spent some time looking on Facebook Marketplace and other online spots for a piece and I finally found this. This is a Lane Cedar chest and I actually found it on the side of the road for free. There was kind of like a free garage sale where everything was free and it was all outside on the lawn of someone's house and I got it. I also got a really good workbench for free and some sandpaper so that whole trip was a win. You can see it's gonna take a lot of work to um, pry things off and make it look more modern. So I'm starting by removing any of the trim um, and edging that just doesn't look very modern. It looks pretty outdated. Time to remove the top, which has this cushion on it. And the cushion is covered in really interesting fabric that looks very, very old and outdated as well. After I got off all of the pieces that I didn't want to be on there anymore and all the trim, I removed all of the hardware from the whole piece. Then it was time to clean. I used Dawn dish soap and some Simple Green and gave the whole piece a really good scrub. Once the piece dried, I sanded it down with 80 grit sandpaper and my orbital sander. Because I removed so much of this piece, there were definitely a lot of holes that I needed to fill. So this time I used Bondo, which I've been getting better at using, and uh, mixed the two parts together and spread that out all over the piece in all the holes that I needed to fix. sanded down the Bondo and got completely covered in sanding dust. Good thing I have a respirator. After sanding down the Bondo, I did notice that there were a few spots where it still wasn't completely flush and the holes weren't all the way filled in. Usually I would not fix this because I would be too impatient, but this time, y'all, I was patient. I put on more Bondo, I let it dry, and I sanded it all down again. I'm really proud of myself for this flip because I really took my time with every single step. I had several weeks to get this done and I really wanted to get it done right. So I did the multiple different steps and I think it was worth it in the end. Cheers to patience. It's hard to come by sometimes.
Once I was ready to paint, I dusted everything off with a TCP tack cloth. I swear by these, they work so well. And I got to try Dixie Bell paint for the first time. I've actually never tried their paint before because I have an Annie Sloan stockist like three blocks from the house where I have been doing all my work, but this was the perfect color. So I grabbed my zebra brush and some water and the paint and I just got to painting. At first I just did like a super light coat all over the piece just to try and get coverage and later on I go through and do a few more coats. I think that if I weren't doing the $100 challenge, I would maybe use a couple different brushes. I recently got a kit of five different zebra brushes and I'll put a link to that down below. They are all really great and they're great for different things, but the Palm Pro I found to be like pretty versatile and it can get a lot of the jobs done. So I was able to paint the trim and the tops and sides and everything with this brush and that was really great. So I knew that I didn't want to keep the wheels on this, obviously, so I removed those, but I actually left them on while I was painting because the piece was easier to move around on wheels. I purchased these legs off Amazon actually for a different project, which I will link below. Um, they didn't work on that dresser. That was a West Elm dupe. And I really like them except for that. I thought they were too shiny and mirrory. So I just took a super cheap $1 chip brush and a little bit of metallic brass paint. And I just did some textured brushing on there, some textured dry brushing to take away some of the sheen and to give it a little bit of a darker, creamier, brassier look rather than the mirror, which I didn't like as much. I did a final sand over the whole piece with 320 grit sandpaper. You can see that bench that I'm working on that I also got for free at this like free garage sale, free pile on the side of the road. So two really good scores that day. To seal this piece, I ended up using chalk paint wax from Annie Sloan in the color clear, and I just applied it with a t-shirt rag. I hadn't actually used wax on a piece of furniture before. I've mostly just been really into polyacrylic and polyurethane, but this was easier to apply than I thought it would be, and I didn't have to get out my sprayer. <laughs> I was really happy about that at this point in the day. So I just went over the whole piece with that. I wiped off the excess, and I waited till the next day to buff it to get it a little bit shinier. I cleaned up any spots where paint had gotten on wood and I got my decals in the mail. These are half circle wooden round pieces that I was going to use for the kind of gold bronze decals on the front. I tried positioning two of them as they were on the anthropology piece that inspired this flip, but I actually liked the look of it in the middle better. So I decided to just use one of them and to use some metallic paint in bronze from Modern Masters. And I just painted on two quick layers of this. And then I used Gorilla Glue to attach it to the front of the dresser and cover up the keyhole where the lock had been. Before the big reveal, 
I just want to remind you that this is part of a challenge with 24 other channels. So make sure to check out all of their videos below. It's going to be super fun and inspiring to see what everyone came up with. Did I spend less than $100? Hmm. The rules of this challenge were simple. Make over a piece of furniture from start to finish for under $100. I got this piece for free, so that was helpful. I will link every product that I used down below. The legs that I used were $24.78 and I got them on Amazon. I used one TCP tack cloth for a total of $108. The paint, I used about $10 worth of paint. I used one ounce of wax for $3.25. The brush I used, the Zebra Palm Pro, is $10.95. The Modern Masters brass paint that I used on the legs and on the half circle, I used one ounce for $2.66. I used a $1 chip brush, a t-shirt rag, we'll say $1, $1 of dish soap, <laughs> $1 of sandpaper, $2 of Bondo wood fill. I used $5 worth of Big Mama's butter on the inside of here to just make it smell really nice on the inside. And the circular piece that I used as like the half moon was $3.08 including shipping. So my total for this challenge comes to $66.80. Just a reminder, this was my inspiration from Anthropology. This was the free piece I found on the side of the road, a lane cedar chest. And here was the final result. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm using it currently in my own apartment as a blanket storage and plant stand. So I have it here kind of dressed up as like a side table or as a plant stand. And I really like the way that that decal looks in the middle. I really like the way that the bronze legs turned out and I'm just really happy with this piece overall. Best of all, this piece did not cost $1,300. It was way cheaper. I'm really proud of myself. I stuck with this project. I really gave it my all. I think it might be my best furniture flip yet. And I only spent $66.80 on it. If you found this video helpful and you want to say thanks, you can hit the subscribe button or you can buy me a coffee down on the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Here are two other furniture flip dupes that I have done from West Elm. See you soon.